After joining hundreds of Discord servers and building many too, I've discovered five features that you can add to your Discord server to make it 10 times as better, and I guarantee there's at least one of these that you didn't already know about. Starting with an advanced introduction system. Now whilst you might not think this is a feature at all, hear me out. You could just have a simple introductions channel for people to send messages in, which is pretty lame in all honesty, when instead you could actually just build out an automated system using Sapphire and Yag PDB, which will limit users from sending messages more than once and actually send an achievement directly to their DMs. By having this in your server, it gives the member an actionable step to take, which they are then actually rewarded for, improving the chances of them staying in your community, which then improves your server insights. Whilst Twitter, or X, should I say, has ruined the capability of bots posting Twitter feeds, this next feature might be a solution with a little thing called RSS feeds. Have you wanted a channel with a direct feed of the newest games, streamer news, celebrity gossip, football news, and yes, it's football, not soccer? Well, by inviting this RSS bot into your server allows you to add any RSS feed online directly into a server channel of your choice. One of my clients, Strike It Big, uses RSS feeds for business and economy related news like stock prices, but there's literally hundreds out there that you can add to your server. I'll leave an invite to that bot in the description. If you can try and relate the post to your server topic, it may increase your weekly visitors, which it did for Strike It Big. And if you wanted to take it a step further, you may want to actually hide this channel for just you and staff members and actually create a forum and then post the content from the RSS feed channel into different forums, which people can then engage with, which will promote potential discussions, improving your server insights. And it's actually something this guy called Hunter Avalon. I don't know if I pronounced that name right, but he does it in his server and it's maybe something you might want to try too. Moving on, we have the good old ticket system. Now, before you actually click off this, if you've already got a ticket system, hear me out because because I've got a sneaky trick you can use to customize it. For those who don't know, a ticket system allows members to easily contact staff for questions, all in a private channel, which can then be logged to access later down the line if necessary. Rather than using this boring menu, which most of the ticket bots give you, you can actually create a custom menu using Sapphire and Ticket Tool, which I guess is a cheat to not pay for premium but don't tell him I said that. I use it in my Discord server, but alternatively, you can keep this standard menu and then take advantage of their drop-down system or even their forums, which helps with solving tickets a lot quicker as the information gets sent to the channel as the ticket opens and looks way better in my opinion. Or if you're still a fan of the simple buttons, you can actually create a categorized menu to keep all the tickets in one message rather than having multiple all over the place, which I see a lot of servers doing. Up next, we have chat drops. Not many servers tend to use this one, so I guess you could say it's underrated, but it's a great way of rewarding the active members of your community with either Nitro, game codes, and if money is a little tight, you could just instead make a system where the people get a special role. Now, if you happen to be a bot developer or you know one, you could be a little creative with this and even create a store directly in the server and people can collect the gems from, say, general or your server currency, depending what you decide to choose, and then have that as a drop in chat. And after they obviously collect that, they can then purchase something from the store. It's a bit like an economy bot, but rewards the most active with something they would actually value compared to bot currency, for example. Tie that with your server theme and I guarantee it will do well. Finally, probably the best and most important feature to bring your Discord to the 2023 standard is the use of buttons and drop downs in your information channels. You can use a bot like Sapphire, and I know I've said that a lot in this video, but you can actually create buttons which open to other embeds where you can create interactive pages or even assign buttons as links. You can also create custom role menus, FAQ systems, guidebooks, or even the customized ticket system, which we mentioned earlier. It looks way more professional and it can help to reduce the number of information channels you have. Just don't get too carried away with how many you create in one embed, else your members will end up down that dark embed rabbit hole. But before you rush off making those buttons and drop downs, you need those fancy embeds. So watch this video on the screen as I easily explain step-by-step -step how you can create them for your server.